Welcome back! We are fighting pirates? Yeah. Uh, Briggs and his henchman, whose name I skipped accidentally because I wasn't paying attention. How's everyone doing? I hope you're having a good life. Oh, that's right. Everything got all goofed up towards the end of the episode because we have, we unlocked Sour. Everything gets, it gets way better if we just use this. So we'll go ahead and hit Briggs, I guess. And... Flame card, I think, is overpowered. Let's just, like, assault Briggs with incredible prejudice. Just, like, unkind deeds. Because he seems to be in charge of this operation. The other dude's name's Seafire, so I'm not, like, not too concerned that maybe he's the brains of the operation. Oh, and since they're humans... It... Oh, no! <laughs> um, yeah, I think since they're just people, like, all magic is effective against them, so... And you're back to your wonderfully powerful self there, Felix. Let's just hit him with the old Quake Sphere, which I don't know if that's more powerful or if it just, like, it's more people, you know? I guess we'll find out. How's everyone feeling today? It has been a long time since I posted a video, like, at all. I think a couple weeks. Um, let's see. Two weeks ago, yeah, on Tuesday, I was thinking, like, oh, okay, Wednesday, I'll record some videos. Nice. That, that'll... That'll work nicely, because I like, did stuff over the weekend, and then figured, whatever, it doesn't matter. And then on Tuesday, I went to pick up a brake drum at my job, 8 damage, which weighed like 135 pounds, and I like looked at it, and I it was on the ground, I was like, standing up, I was like, this is incorrect, and I just grabbed it, just picked it up, full back action, 100% lift it with your back, and people are like, don't do it, like your whole life, and I'm like, Pfft. I'm invincible. I'm a, I'm a youngster. I could do whatever I dang well please. And nothing bad could ever happen. And it was just immediately like... Ah, ah. <laughs> Felt like Creighton. It was absurd. And, uh, yeah, I had to go home from work, actually, that day at, like, 2 o'clock. I picked the thing up at, like, 9 o'clock. But, um, I couldn't walk. <laughs> I couldn't walk because it hurts so bad. And I guess now it's been two weeks and still, if I step just wrong, like, specifically while I'm barefooted, then... It's a bad experience, like I can feel a little twinge. But, like that night, I was trying to fall asleep and I was just like lying in bed, just like spasming from pain. And it was uh, not fun. And so then I wasn't motivated to do anything that week because I was like, I can't focus on talking or thinking. And then, uh, yeah, I guess a week after that, I just fell into the habit of not doing stuff. And so yeah, and then here we are. Anyways got a bunch of stuff planned that I want to do though so hopefully I can get a lot done it's only 7:40 at night right now uh, cook myself a gigantic double batch of stew the other day more delicious instant pot meals happening in my house so I'll be eating good in the neighborhood for like four to five days and then once that's all gone I'm probably gonna make like euros or something my dad sent me a recipe he has an instant pot as well I remember I talked about how he like bought his and then got mine for like a Christmas gift and was basically bragging about all the cool stuff he was cooking all the time. But anyways, yeah, it's still the case that he like sends me delicious recipes like, you should make this and you should make this. So I got a couple of those lined up and life is looking good on the rebuild. It's finally. Oh, well. <laughs> I was like, oh, I should use the blitz in case he gets paralyzed. That'll be a huge advantage. And then he died right as I... Well, that takes care of that. And I'm willing to bet everyone Briggs has been harassing will be quite happy to hear it. And also, he pulled four dudes out of his butt and they're all dead now. He should he set everyone in Indra at ease. They all seem to fear the pirate Briggs. We lost. We freaking suck. There's nine of us and we all died. Even pirates have honor. I'll go quietly. I won't make a scene just because I lost. Go oh, and hand us over to Madra or Alpha or who, whatever. <laughs> Good. First off, you can tell the Mandarins the man called Pierce is innocent. Whatever. <laughs> I don't care about the magic of friendship. This isn't Dragon Ball Z or My Little Pony, you idiots. Just kill me already. Okay, we're gonna. We've secured his vow, now we're secure his bowels in this jar. Cut the man up. Wait. Who's this lady? Sorry, she's gonna have a really posh voice. Can't you find it in your hearts to forgive Briggs and his men? And who are you? I'll stab you as well. I got a second die. I don't think I have a... My name is Chinchilla. I'm Briggs' wife. So you're a pirate, eh? 
Uh, no, Chancha hasn't done a thing. Let her be. She just married me. I know Briggs and his men have caused some great trouble with their piracy and their murder and their violence and their drunken disorderly. And I know the crimes cannot be ignored, but I'd love it if you let them go and ignored what they've done. Ma, well, you see. If you know all that, then how can you just ask us to forgive him, you freak? This isn't my little pony after all. We've got jars to fill. Oh, the only reason he robbed banks was because he needed money, is that why? We chomp our seafaring We chomp our seafaring folk. Our livelihood depends entirely upon the sea. <laughs> but in recent years, the sea has changed. We can't live the life we once could. And instead of adapting and, you know, switching to an ag agrarian society, we thought, why not crime? The oceans have warmed and the fish have vanished from our waters. Global warming subtext. The soil in Chompo's rocky and barren. No crops can grow there. No crops. So you have no grains and no meat. It sounds like life in Chompo is hard, but perhaps instead of robbing banks, it is it's not hard. It's unbearable. Our children can't eat. Our village is dying. Have you seen the, 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 the school children's play Stone Soup? Mix up a batch of Stone Soup. <laughs> so became pirates and thieves. We don't know where Champa is. It's it sits on the southeastern corner of Angara. We do know where it is. I'm a walking encyclopedia. Southeastern Angara isn't that near Zian and Lama Temple? You have a good memory. If you head south through the mountains, you'll find it. That is so far away. Let's just fill the jars. Well, I mean, frick. You think we can be successful pirates so close to home, robbing our neighbors? If they raided any towns near Chapo, it would be so obvious to all who the attackers were. Just lying on the floor, shaking his head. Why? My wife has to bail me out for my stupidity again. And no one back home could forgive me if they knew not even my grandmother. But where does that leave us? Are we simply to accept your looting here on Indra, Mystery Man? Oh. He brought the entire village guard. I'm shocked. I tell you, shocked. What is. What is so shocking? <laughs> it looks like they just really are pirates, just like you said. Yeah. Mr. Mayor, I'm appalled that you would call. could not take our word for it. This is a shocking outrage. He probably wouldn't even have believed if we were from Madra, the mayor hadn't come. Am I supposed to believe the accusations of a complete stranger? Is this your position, Mr. Mayor? How can I be expected to believe a tidal wave that could wash Indra into Oceania? I'm a human frog! It sounds to me like you had forgotten about us altogether! I'm not sure you'll come remember the last time we went, do you? <laughs> After I do that voice, I can't even help myself by going, Bleh. just because that's like the sound for his personality. And I don't, like, register in my brain, like, you've already done this nine times. My brain's just like, you have to do it. We met when I was just a child. It must have been more than ten years ago now. <laughs> twenty years! Since it's been twenty years since I last saw you, you must have been a wee lady. Last time I saw you could fit in a jar this big. Has it really been so long? It has been a long time indeed. I guess we cannot blame you for forgetting his face, huh, as he's grown older than any human on the planet. Don't be silly. I didn't forget his face. His face merely changed with incredible age. Ahem, uh, forgive my interrupting your interruption, but <laughs> get sassed. Would I be correct in assuming that I'm speaking to the leaders of Madra and Alhafra? You are correct. I'm the mayor of Madra. And I... <laughs> I'm the man of half And I'm the man of town elder! By, by, by no means is there anyone going to be more elderly than him. And I'm the close personal friend of Sin, who, who whose lover was injured by the Champa. It's just like... And I was walking down the street to get the mail when I heard a man talk about the stock market was crashing, so I checked my newspaper and I seen the word Chompa appeared there, so I showed up here to see about all the drama. I'm gonna go home and tell my wife about this, and I bet she's having an affair with my best friend. I am Scholar Craden, and here's Felix, the leader of our group. You know him well. I'm 
I'm Jenna. Felix is freaking frack. I'm called Shiba. I come from the town of Lavalavalia. Now, what errand has brought you all here? We've got a little. We followed the Briggs here from a mouth room. <laughs> of course, we had good reason to suspect them of being pirates. <laughs> They're down there, like, should we just start, like, shuffling up along the ground and get out of here? <laughs> and I was honestly taken aback to hear the businessmen being slandered. <laughs> the business of crime, after all. Mm, is that not all business? They truly are pirates, so why would they go to the trouble of buying a ship from us? Because the very funds they used to purchase the ship were pillaged from our homes, you daft fool! <laughs> If the ship was bought with Madron gold, then it belongs to the Madrons, as a matter of accounting. It's tax season after all, and I had a side gig until everyone lost all their money, and then I started doing crime. Wow, he recovered fast from his stab and electrical wounds. And also fire. Well then, where will you go? I won't run, and I won't hide. Because I can't run or hide. Actually, I don't feel up for much of anything right now, as I have been ravaged by three spicy individuals. Then you probably don't mind being locked up, will you? Ha! Huh? Get sassed. I've seen too much garbage in my old age to put up with your tomfoolery, boy. Rex. I mean, Rex. Don't worry, Chompa Chomp Wife. I'll be back. 25 to life. Take care of Ole Elio. Old MacDonald had a son, O-E-L-E-O. -E -E Your strange powers surprised me, but even without them, you would have overwhelmed us. You went down and did some grinding in the desert first, and I was outmatched. We'll be taking that boat then, idiot. You're taking our ship, you're worse than we ever were. You offered it to them. Shut the freaking frick! Do as you must, but I have one request. Don't put my wife in a joist. Oh. Eolio. Is his name like Eolio? Eolio. You haven't done half any harm, Miss Briggs. At least keep him locked up until the boat is repaired. With the mayors of four different towns in our presence, I'm imagining no conversations are going to take zero time. It's going to be maximum politics. And our prisoner appears. Is he one of your men? Heck no, idiot. Stupid. You think I'd adopt a French boy? Heck no, fool. See, it's just as I said. Piers is innocent. He is free to go. Uh, you must return to Madra and free him immediately. Me? What? Alone? What? Myself? No. What? No. Only the two of us will remain here. You can return to Madra with the other. It's understood. We'll return immediately. Oh, there was a fourth character there. Can you come with us, please? <laughs> You're arresting him. You don't have to be so kind. Like, he's been caught being a pirate, robbing the place. And, like, um, if it wouldn't be too much of a issue with you, or if you're fine to go now, like, we're taking you to jail. And, like, stab him in the kidney. It looks like that wraps up this whole mess. Let us return to my mansion for a nice cup of tea. And lard. Blah, 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 blah. You say I'm Miss Crater? Uh, yes, I'm clearly the face man for this group, as I'm the one who knows everything on the air. Thank you very much for your help with the bricks. We'll put them in the brick. <laughs> Every time, please come see me in my mansion. Before you come. But there's nothing but some, but I'd like to thank you for everything I've done. Why do I get the feeling the mayor of Alpha prefers to deal with my father over me? <laughs> Think I'll leave him much right now. Due to your efforts, Piers is going to be released. Isn't that great? You never met the boy. So glad. And now this fine ship belongs to Madra. What a specimen. of mine. None of this would have come to pass if it were not for you. Thank you. Don't mind us. We just showed up in the... Um, Stabbed everyone who is doing wrong. Unfortunately, I don't have any reward I can offer you here. Oh, peace, boss. We don't need any reward, do we, Felix? This is one of those situations where you can either... You can answer either way, and it can be taken either way. That it, Because the phrasing itself is vague. Because, like, we don't need any reward, do we? Yes, 
you're correct, we don't need any reward. Or, no, you're right, we don't need any reward. Or, no, we don't need a reward. But you can also be like, no, you're wrong, yes, we do need a reward. Or, we don't need any reward. Yes, yes, we do. There. And I'm just gonna go with no, because it's like, ah! That's as it may be, but I still feel quite indebted to you. Freaking writers setting that trash up so it's just seamless. So what shall we do? More of the questions. I know. Come back to Madra after our boat has been fixed and I'll sail home. In three to seven months. We're still covering from the effects of the tidal wave, so it won't be much, but we'll do what we can to give you some kind of reward. Well, shall we be gone? Goodbye. Get off my boat. I see. So, uh... Oh, nothing, never mind, freakity frack, I'll be, uh, uh just do it, get, just, uh, do I get to stay on the boat? Yes, it's not a jail, but you can't leave, so house arrest. Also, it's not your boat, so it's like, you can't leave somebody else's house, so it's jail. Yes. I'll be with, my son. I feel kind of bad for Cha-Cha. Cha-Cha? I'm just gonna call her Cha-Cha. Cha-Cha. I mean, what can we do about it? After all, she's the one who married to a freaking pirate. Like Elizabeth Swan and the freaking Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Wow. And he turned into David Jones. What a plot twist. My lord, it's a heart wrenching story. Had a child then, saved how was nine. I suggest that we try to find Peter. He could be very enlightening. That's true. He seems to be a water adept. He might be able to tell us a little bit about these lands. You think we should help him fix the bot? Sorry, right. if we can't help with the bot, maybe they'll give us a ride back to Mother. Good idea. What do you say, Felix? Yeah. I'm a kind guy. I'm a swell dude. Alright! Let's get this thing going. And there better be some dang treasure in the bottom of the boat. There might be. Yay! I have move bound to... Hello, what is... That looks like delicious bread, does it not? Sorry. I'm sorry. <gasps> Quake Tremor! Because it's precariously perched! No! Give me a moment, please. Okay, you just have to stand right gosh dang next to it. Ah ha ha! Ooh. <laughs> That sounds delicious. Nourishing bread that fights hunger. Details are unknown. <laughs> I don't understand big bread. It's creepier when it's huge like this. It's like spiders in that regard. Little spiders? <laughs> Who cares? Big spiders is like... Right? Trainers with That's right. Sweet, we got a giant bread. That feels like it might be a quest item. Can we give that to the Champa to feed their entire village for a month? Giant bread, are you that hearty? So there's some sort of boat puzzles. Oh. You plan to help the mess, right? Not even Bregson as pirates can fix the mass, so how are we supposed to not confuse everyone's voices? They need our help, we might just have to at least try. Is that right, Felix? Yeah. Well, that'll be better than we can get around, how do I? <laughs> Alright, Graydon. I don't know that I'll be able to fix it in, like, a minute and a half. And also, if I do that, then it might be like, Alright, sweet, we're going back to Madra. I want to go get that sweet, sweet cup of mayoral tea. So, I think I'm going to do that real quick. And that honestly might wrap up the video, because I'm sure Mr. Mayor is going to have quite a few words to say about it. <gasps> the world's most wholesome guards have moved aside, and I may move inside. Mr. Dreadlocks. You should go down the watchtower and gaze southward. On a clear day, you can see most of the amazing view of the Ayers Rock from there. You know, also you can see a good view of Ayers Rock is inside Ayers Rock. Oh gosh, this is like... Is that a window? Not a door. Sweet. What's the, like, really Scottish dude's name from the first game? This is like his house. That place was freaking gigantic. I'm on saying Andrew wasn't in the right place for some time now. Nobody believed me until the mayor of Madra actually walked in here. Yep, yep, yep. Looky here, you can see Al's Rock out there. It's not the voice. I'm gonna give him a Texan voice.
From here, it just look like a regular old rock, but from up close, it's something else. Well, the first thing you think when you see us now, that's one serious rock. Oh! <laughs> that's the first thing you're gonna think when you see it. Just guarantee, like, <gasps> that's a rock! The mountains to the east of Al Hafra are the Baloo Range. They divide Osenia right in the middle. And we call the area on the other side of the Baloo Range East Osenia. Because we're the least creative piece of nonsense. Oh, it's the chef! A town was just rife with pirates until recently. Your efforts have removed this scourge from our town, and we truly owe you our gratitude. But not any of this fine soup, you piss on the pity! Mr. Mayor, can I get some of that sweet, sweet tea? Oh, my tummy, da da. You stand on a continent that lies across the eastern sea. I tell me that by trading with one another, all of these towns prosper and grow. I've made a decision. If I have roused the prosper, then we must trade grow. Trade and grow. I'm going to bring an entire trade fleet and make lots of money, and then I'll keep it and use it on big biscuits. Still, there must be other pirates and free mooters that still roam in the seas. All the thought of this crime is filling my heart with joy. Felix Briggs told me you and your friends fought with great strength. If you could blame me that strength, we would need not fear any pirates. So if you just help me win and help out, I'll tell you what I'm trading on What do you have to say? Do we have a deal? Uh, are you trying to, uh, am I a mercenary now? Yes. But I'll just say until I found What does that mean? And where was the tea? But such a fantastic idea, I'm the one who thought of it. Well, naturally, I will be my friend. 